What's up guys welcome to Tech Academy. In this video I am going to show you how to create a sign up activity. In the last tutorial we have created this login activity and I am using that app only. We will create one more xml file and a java file for sign up activity and in the next tutorial we will do the database part. So when a user will sign up using this app all the information he enters will get stored in the database. I will be using SQLite database and also I will show you how to use that information to authenticate a user while logging in. So let's get started. Sign up activity is very similar to login activity. There will be some more fields like name, email, etc. So first right click on this layout folder and click on new xml layout xml file and name it sign up and click on finish this is our new file also right click on this folder and click on new java class and name it sign up and click ok so go to xml file and just add large text and make it name add a plain text field for name first change this linear layout like uh, the orientation of this layout so write android orientation vertical and save it and i'll just delete it and add it again so this is the plain text for name double click on it and make the id tf name add one more large text for email email address and plain text double click on it name it tf email then add one more large text you can add as many fields as you want here username And name it add a text field and name it tf tf uname I'll write uname because I have used username in the login activity you can't use two same IDs for different objects so add one more large field for password name it password and add this one here double click and name it tf pass one and get one more current sorry confirm password and get one more password text field and make the id tf pass two uh, we'll check if these two values are equal and if they are not equal we'll we'll show a pop-up message add a button for sign up double click make the value sign up and make the id b sign up i'll write sign up button because i have used sign up in the login activity open the activity main we need to add one more button here so i'll write sign up Sorry, sign up here and b sign up like this and make the value on click value to equal to this one like on button click so login also has on button click as on click value and go to sign up.xml again so this is done now you can go to main activity.java we have set on button click here so 
in this method we'll add one more if block so if we dot get id equals r dot id dot b sign up that is if user clicks on the sign up button new activity will open up that uh, that will be the sign up activity so just copy this intent part and paste it here we don't need to pass anything we'll just open new activity and here the context will be in activity dot this and the class is sign up dot class i don't know why i'm writing sing sign up dot class and start activity like this so main activity dot java file is done and we'll edit sign up dot java now so open sign up dot java it should extend activity class so write extends activity and select this so that it will get imported import android dot app dot activity and we'll add on create method here so open any activity display dot java or main activity dot java and copy this part on create method and paste it here and click ok so that bundle will get imported here just change the value to this sign it is uh, sign up dot xml so write sign up if you want to change this then go right click on it go to refractor and rename name it sign up dot xml refractor like this now open the sign up dot xml file and we need to set up on click property here so just find on click property and make it on sign up click and open this one again we need to add a method so public void on sign up click it will take a object of view class and to use view you need to import android dot small v view and capital v view like this now here we'll check if v dot get id matches with r dot id dot b sign up button and if it matches then we'll take all these values so we need one two three four five five edit text and we need to convert them to string values so first we'll create edit text objects name edit text find view by id r dot id dot tf name and here import to use edit text you need to import android dot widget dot edit text and i'll also import android dot widget dot text view i think we'll need it so i spelled it wrong edit text so just copy this and paste it four times and change it to email username so you name pass one and pass two and here also change the id to df email df you name df pass one and df pass two 
like this and now we need to convert all of these values to a string value so write string i'll just add str so name str that is name string so name dot get text this is how you fetch the text from edit text object and now you need to change it to string so dot to string like this so again copy this four times and change these values to email you name pass one and pass two and here email you name pass one pass two now we'll check if pass one is equal to pass two so if uh, for numbers that means integer or double or also for character you can write pass one str is equal to pass two str but for string you can't write it like this you need to write first string dot equals there is a method called equals and also equals ignore case but we can't use equals ignore case because password should be matched exactly we can't ignore the case so just write equals and here in these brackets write the second string that is pass to string so if it is not equal for that we need to make it not here we need to add this one here exclamation mark it is for not so if doesn't match with the pass to we need to display a pop-up message so i'll just write pop-up message so this is done now for displaying pop-up message you need object of toast class so toast enter so that it gets imported here and red dot widget dot toast and i write pass here equals toast dot make text and it takes three um it takes three parameters i'll show you it takes three parameters context text and duration so for context you can write sign up dot this that is this class name dot this comma um now text so we'll show pass words don't match exclamation mark comma duration for duration you can write toast dot length long or length short i'll write length short and dot show or you can also write it here pass dot show like this now everything is done we just need to add this activity to android dot android manifest.xml file so open android manifest.xml it is listed here in the manifests folder and add an activity like this activity name is sign up and just close it like this it is listed here now so i guess everything is done we'll just run it and test it out so i have already launched my emulator if you don't know how to create an avd then i'll put the link in the description bar below and also on the screen click on this run button now it is asking us to choose a device so i have already launched the device so select the running device and click ok it might take some time to open up So our activity demo app is opened up here click on this sign up here button and enter any value here just any random value actually we don't need to check it now just enter some value in the password fields random value so that they don't match and click on sign up button it is showing a proper message password don't match i'll 
do it again passwords don't match so this is how you use pop-up messages in android and in the next tutorial i'll show you how to store all these value in the database i'll use sqlite database which is inbuilt database of android so thank you for watching this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up bye